this video I am going to install a single node uh, Cloudera cluster and uh, for that first I am uh, going to uh, create an instance in Amazon AWS so launch instance go to community MIS and search for my uh, uh, if you already know that uh, uh, this instance ID details choose in that select option so I am using CentOS 6.5 here choose that and the configuration I am going to use uh, here is uh, this one okay so let me choose some a uh, bit higher end okay so I am for x large then configure single node I am using storage so 50 gig I look looks it's okay because I am not going to store any data here just enabling Kerberos so if you don't have a uh, security group configured so here you have option to configure then here you can choose all traffic and the source anywhere then uh, this one so that means it will allow any traffic to enter in, into this machine so I already and you can add that rule here but I already created the rule so this is something like all traffic from anywhere allow so review and launch launch and use the key so existing key and I have my own key so if you don't have the key you can create that and it will uh, create uh, save or you can save a PEM file that you have to convert into PPK file using uh, uh, Putigen. okay so launch the instance so I'm uh, giving a name here CDH and uh, just keep refresh and uh, make sure it's running so get the public IP address copy that then open the putty session then go to this SSH then authentication here you can use the public PPK file so this should be the one we specified during the creation so CDH single node or CDH you can use so saving it and open right so I'm using the root here the login name is root so it may change uh, from instance to instance some instance may use EC2 user and uh, uh, some may use uh, CentOS etc so let me increase the font right so that's it uh, so the, uh, I have to do a few things so just get the host name I mean the IP address and uh, host name uh, because what I feel is in etc host uh, this name entry is not there I tested this instance earlier and uh, vi slash etc host so use this small name and that's it host name fnf yes and uh, i have to do a uh, few prerequisites uh, which i need to do uh, before installing any hadoop instance so i'll, I'll uh, do that so i have saved uh, that as a script and uh, let me copy these things and uh, paste it in the terminal that's it so this is doing like a thp disabling VM subpoenas changing and IP tables uh, turn off etc uh, so you may uh, need to do a restart after making these changes then only this will come into effect okay so looks like uh, some of the uh, repo file has some issue so that is why it's saying like it's not able to uh, connect this and uh, lovely system this CentOS so these are all uh, not reachable so let me uh, find out uh, the uh, repo files and uh, try to comment out these entries because uh, it will cause some delays because it tried to uh, check that repository and it fails so again it uh, that's why it's taking time so I need to comment comment out those things otherwise installation will uh, do well uh, even uh, with that warnings also that is okay so I don't want to uh, get this warning so let me uh, check this 
so go to the directory etc em dot repos dot d so find out sorry you will not find grep dot fnr okay so this is the one uh, which is using okay so these two uh, repo files are showing issue so let me open these two one by one and uh, this is already uh, disabled enable equal to zero so it might be the second one uh, caused the issue so i'm just uh, disabling this anyway this uh, repo is not reachable and do m clean all i think uh, one more uh, package so mirror dot as centos that is also shown issue so grab so here only so here and all you can see it's all commented out here also it has some issue so just i think uh, this anyway this is not reachable it's saying so let's comment it out and uh, i'm just disabling sorry uh, enable uh, equal to zero okay so not gpg check so even the gpg is uh, enable or disable it will consider that gpg file and etc so enable equal to zero means it will not check so i'm just doing m clean all and then m make cache so it should not show any uh, uh, url not found or url does not exist error so that is done so that is working fine without any issue so i'm going to create a user because here i am using uh, a simplest way to do the installation and simplest and fastest so that is using cloudera installer bin but that is not recommended for production for production you can use your own custom repository and uh, use uh, m install utility to install and uh, customize your own uh, database etc so but here this installation require a user with the sudo access so i'm just going to create a, a group hadoop sorry group add hadoop then user add hyphen g hadoop hd user and uh, i need to set the password for this user sorry use the password right so i need to add this hd user in sudo users group and have to give elevated access you can use the v sudo and uh, come to the end then press i for insert go to the end that username then use this option so all without any password so all command has to execute without any password so if a user log into a hd user he would be able to uh, sudo su or any command that root support without uh, this password so sudo command he would be able to do without any password even it's not prompting for password then the second one i need to create the public and private key so ssh hyphen key gen hyphen t rsa right then go to that ssh directory then id underscore rsa dot pub to authorized underscore keys so this authorized keys you have to copy to all the nodes if you are using multi node installation but in my case single node then uh, this private key id rsa so i need to copy and save it into my desktop so this key i need during the installation of a cluster so i'm just saving that in this file then i'm going to uh, reboot uh, this machine sorry so i can do sudo reboot or i can just switch to root and do a reboot <laughs> now we will uh, continue the installation so go to the archive.cloudera.com uh, cm5 and uh, installer then uh, select the installer version 
so I'm just selecting the latest one and uh, copy this link then choose wget that's it uh, then uh, chmod plus x then so do the installation accept the license that's it so it takes some time so now uh, the installation is uh, completed so i can uh, log in by using this public ip and uh, use the port 7180 and continue the installation from here so use the credential admin admin and uh, this license agreement and user license agreement then uh, choose anyone express and or enterprise style continue then uh, this is the host name which I'm going to add here so just take this host name search continue then the parcel and everything as default because I don't ha I have proper internet and I'm using the internet based report continue this JDK and JCE because the JCE is uh, important but if you are using your own uh, JDK you need to install this JCE because this is important for uh, Kerberos so if you are enabling Kerberos this is must continue default then here use this HD user then all use accept all you house accept the same private key choose that private key so there is a file which I copied in my uh, from my uh, host that private key I copied to here I don't have a passphrase then continue so now uh, the installation uh, so the, of these packages has completed now we will continue and uh, install the other package uh, so this is the parcel it is downloading and uh, distributing to all the nodes okay uh, so this parcel has pushed to all the nodes and uh, host inspector next uh, we have option to select the package i mean the components that is uh, prerequisites checks i mean host inspector do certain uh, checks and uh, everything is in okay then finish and uh, we can add the services so I'm just selecting this custom option and uh, choosing HDFS, Zookeeper and YARN. So these three services initially I'm selecting. Continue. Then I have only single node instance and I don't have much option here. So choose everything as default here. So I have single node to select. Right. Continue. So I'm using embedded database so I don't want to create the database again again this is a completely testing environment in real production you have to use the custom database and custom credentials then continue so this one also I'm uh, accepting the default values so this is started uh, the setup so this will install uh, HDFS, Zookeeper and YARN components and will try to start those services. So these components are added and started. Finish. So now I have installed a cluster uh, with the minimal components HDFS, YARN and Zookeeper and uh, so Cloud Era Management instance. So uh, that's it. So I have completed the installation and this is on a single node and about the version uh, you can check like uh, so it's using the Cloudera manager uh, uh, so 5.1.30 and the cluster is also 5.130 so I hope it's clear and I have uh, done uh, the similar installation in, uh, in detail in uh, my previous videos also so you can refer and again it's also not a production recommended way of installation so this is the simplest and easiest installation which I used uh, for a testing purpose so for production environment so you need to uh, use 
the custom uh, repository based also the manual installation is uh, recommended so thanks for watching so i will be uploading uh, uh, more uh, videos in future so please subscribe to this channel thank you bye